guys. So today I'm on the Isle of Skye up in Scotland. Uh, it's my very first time visiting the Isle of Skye and um, it's been absolutely incredible. Uh, such a rugged landscape and you can pretty much point your camera anywhere up here and you could probably get a really nice photo of some description. Um, so today I'm up in a place called Staffin, I'm down on in Staffins Bay, uh, which is a little village just up on the northeast uh, side of the island, and it's a really lovely, quaint little place. And today I thought I'd do something a little bit different, so I decided to do a little bit more of a seascape uh, photo this morning. Uh, because I don't really get a chance to do seascapes around my way because I prefer the ruggedness of a coastline and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it was really nice just to come down here and try and capture a nice seascape. So, um, composition-wise, uh, we've got this really lovely spit of land, using that as a little bit of foreground interest. And then just over there, we've got um, this... I suppose you could call it an island really, but it's actually an extension of this spare land which has just been cut off by the tide, uh, which is slowly receding. And uh, using that as a little bit of a focal point, and then we've kind of got the horizon beyond that and the rising sun. Now, I don't know if you can actually see, but you can actually, you probably can't see that on the camera, but there's actually a load of mist there, which um, is blocking out um, those mountains in the background so uh, yeah that looks actually quite nice and so just check my it's got another minute on that or so um, so on this we've got a 10 stop filter and that's just give us a nice long exposure just trying to smooth out that water I've also got a 0.9 hard edge grad on there just to hold the detail back in the sky uh, I did have a polarizer on there earlier, but it was giving me a lot of vignetting, so I thought I'd um, take that off and see how I'll get on without it. Uh, at the moment, we're on an eight and a half minute exposure, and we're just coming up to that now, so we'll check that out. And uh, we're at ISO 100 and at F10. And just over here. I've got the Fuji time lapse in, and that's a F9, ISO 200, auto shutter speed, minus one on the exposure compensation. Uh, white balance is set to cloudy, and we've also got manual focus on that. Uh, so I'm up here for a couple of weeks. Well, not just staying in the Isle of Sky, we're actually hired a camper van, and we're kind of just touring around. Uh, so we was up the Lake District on the way up and uh, moved up into Scotland from there, then across to the Isle of Skye and now we're going back over to Scotland to Port William and then we're going to travel back down to Yorkshire Dales on the way back. So yeah, making a really nice kind of uh, tour of Britain to a certain degree um, as much as we can in the two weeks. So, yeah, it's been a really lovely holiday and it's been really nice coming up to the Isle of Skye, a place I've never explored before. So, yeah, really, really lovely um, part of Scotland. So, yes, very impressed with it. Um, right, so I'm going to wait around, see what this sun does. Not too sure if we're going to see a sunrise this morning because there's a nice bank of clouds sitting on the horizon. So... Uh, but we've had some really good colours in the sky anyway, so it's not been too bad. Okay, so I'm going to wait and see what this sun does, and then uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit.
Okay guys, so we've uh, got some really lovely sun rays just coming through those clouds at the minute and uh, it looks absolutely superb. Really, really lovely, been really blessed this morning. So uh, what I've gone for is I've moved a little bit further down the way and as now this tide's receded a little bit, uh, we've got, it's revealed some of these rocks. So I'm using that as a bit of foreground interest. Um, and then we've got a bit of water, then we've got another spit of land just beyond that, and then we've got the sun rays just falling in front of the mountains. So I've zoomed in to 50 mil on this to try and uh, bring that a little bit closer in. And uh, we're going, we went for a long exposure on this, so one minute and 20 seconds. And then we also went for a 0.9 hard edge grad, and then we just pulled that down just where the sun rays meet the water just to hold that detail back as much as possible um, so also other settings on this so we are f10 and also ISO 100 and also we did another shot earlier which I'll kind of give you a little bit of an idea so we was a little bit further back than this but basically we placed the camera in the middle of the path and uh, using the uh, railings and the boulders and also this path there's a really nice leading line uh, going off into the distance uh, and as it bends around to the left it kind of breaks that symmetry up a little bit as well so um, yeah it gives some really good interest in the in the image and then again we did a long exposure that was at four minutes f10 and ISO 100 and we got some really lovely blurred water capturing that movement and also capturing some of that movement in the clouds too. Um, again, use the same filters. So I had my 10 stop on there and also my 0.9 hard edge grad on there too. Okay, so that's about us done here for today, I think. Uh, we've uh, been really, really blessed with the light this morning. Absolutely stunning. Uh, couldn't ask for a better morning really so uh, we're going to head back to the campsite and go and grab some breakfast and then we're going to head off a little bit later over to Fort William so uh, once again guys if you've liked this video please give me a thumbs up and also if you wish to see future videos or you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel and please feel free to leave a comment in the comment box below. Give me some feedback. Tell me what you think. And uh, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.